All right, then uh, welcome back everyone. So let's solve this question. Uh, Torem is paint three. Let me read out the question for you. An array p1, b2, bn of positive integers, okay, is good if all the sum of two adjacent elements are equal to the same value. More formally, the array is good if there exists a k such that b1 plus b2 equals to b2 plus b3 equals to so on bn minus one plus bn equals to k. So basically, they are saying uh, we have an array of positive integers, and it is considered good if sum of two adjacent elements uh, are equal. To the same value basically the sum of two consecutive elements uh, equate to the same value and since all elements are positive there if if there exists a k such that uh, some of every adjacent element is evaluated to k then uh, that array is considered to be good fine doremi has an array a of length n okay so this was the definition of a good array by the way so if the adjacent elements sums to adjacent element sum is equal to k then that array is considered to be a good array now doremi has an array a of length n now doremi can permit its element change their order however she wants so she can like a uh, Move elements anyway she wants in arbitrary order. Determine if she can make the array good. That is, if she can uh, make make the array a follow this property, like a1 plus a2 equals to a2 plus c3, so on an minus 1 plus bn. If a uh, array can follow this property uh, by just changing the order, you can change the order of elements anyway you want. Uh, then that array is considered to be good, right? Right. Fine. Let me uh, let's see the input and output. So first line is always a single integer t number of test cases. Then uh, first line of every test case contains a single integer n, the length of array a. Okay. And uh, Second line of each test case contains an integer. So second line is basically our array a. There are no constraints of sum of n. All okay. So fine. That's not much here. An output. Yeah. So for each test case, print yes. If it is possible to make the array good and no otherwise, right? So for example, let's just see. Uh, so if you can make the array good by just uh, changing the order of the elements, what is the definition of good? The sum of adjacent elements should be equal to same value, right? Uh, maybe some k. Fine. So let's see some examples here. So for example, this two nine. Anyway, we have only two elements, so uh, they are good. No issues. Now consider this array three, uh, the array of size three one one two. Can you make it good? If I just uh, maybe if I bring this two here, that's what they have shown, right? If I if I can make it one to one, then uh, one plus two is three, two plus one is three. The sum of adjacent elements is same. And in third test case, they are saying that no permutation is good, and uh, yeah, so you cannot maybe move the elements in a way that their sum equals to the same value. Fourth test case is relatively straightforward, right? If all elements are equal anyway, the sum will be uh, the sum of adjacent elements will be. Same only, so that's a good observation, right? The first observation is that the array elements are same. Then anyway, we'll have to print yes. Okay, keep that thing in mind. And uh, let's move to subline and understand this question. Right. So here I am. I just copied down the test cases uh, from there. Now, yeah. So what is the question is asking is, uh, you have an array a of length n. So you have array a of length n. So this is our array a, and uh, its length is basically n. Right. So you are given uh, array a. I'll just increment the font size if. Yeah, fine. So the array a of length n. So what do you? When can you call an array good? When you have a one plus a two equals to a two plus a three equals to a three plus a four equals to a five plus a six. <laughs> I'll just stop here now. E equals to like similarly equals to so on. I'll just stop at some point. A n minus one is equals to a n minus one plus a n. Right. So this property is followed. Then this is considered a good array. This is the definition of a good array. So you can permute the array a in any order you want. Now usually, like, uh, and people, if you are a beginner, when you see this equation, you might feel like, oh shit, uh, what just happened here? Now I have to think some complicated logic. Uh, how will I do it? And uh, like, how should I think? How should I think about this question? How should I go about this question? Uh, but in the like, since the a a-rated question, the hint is actually hidden in the constraint itself. So you are basically uh, asked that uh, this is the property that needs to be followed, right? So uh, people will think about okay, I have to think about k, blah blah blah. But like just uh, <laughs> think about, like try to uh, uh, simplify the equation. This equation is very big, right? So let's try to simplify it. Just uh, apply little bit brain and try to simplify this. For example, uh, for starters, let's just take an example of n to be let's say some value maybe five. So when can you consider array good if a one plus a two equals to a two plus a three? I'll just copy this part, right? So if array size is five, it is considered good if it is equal to some value k, some value k. Now forget about this uh, k part for a bit. We'll come back to it. But here, simple observation: what you can make is, if you just uh, like, there are many equations here, right? So this is first equation. This is another like equation means yeah. This is there are many expressions here. So equation is maybe just you can consider like this is entire one equation, and there is entire second equation, and this is a uh, another equation. So I hope you know the difference between expression and equation, right? So that's a uh, simple mathematics. So let's uh, if we just uh, simplify this equation. What does it say? A to A two will be cut, right? So A to A two will be cut, and uh, you have A one, A one equals to A three, right? If you simplify this equation, what does happen? A three gets cut, and A two becomes equal to A four. A two equals to A four, right? A two uh, converts to A four. Okay, this has to be A four plus A five, right? 
yeah so i think uh, i should write here a4 plus a5 mm -hmm. i hope uh, you saw that fine so this is what it is right a1 plus a2 should be equal to a2 plus a3 should should be equal to a3 plus a4 should be equal to a4 plus a5 right so first i simplified this equation so then uh, i got a1 equals to a3 then i simplified this equation then i got uh, a2 equals to a4 now let's simplify this equation then i'll get a3 equals to a5 right so what just happened here <laughs> what just happened here so let's take uh, one more example let's take an example of uh, n equals to 6 let's take an example of a n equals to 6 so a4 plus a5 should be equal to a5 plus a6 right so again uh, consider this part consider this equation a1 should be equal to a3 so i'll just take this part here a1 should be equal to a3 right now consider this part consider this part uh, what does it mean a2 should be equal to a4 again i'll borrow this part from above only a2 should be equal to a4 now which equation now let's consider this equation a3 should be equal to a5 a3 should be equal to a5 and uh, last equation a4 should be equal to a6 so what just happened like uh, you can see right so one a1 should be equal to a3 uh, so if we have an array let me just define the array like this so that's the, what they have defined right a1 a2 a3 a4 a5 so on a1 should be equal to a3 should be equal to a5 a5 should be equal to a7 so on and a2 should be equal to a4 should be equal to a6 a8 so the first conclusion that you can make is uh, elements at the uh, position with the same parity should be equal same parity means uh, the elements at the odd position should be equal and elements at the even position should be equal okay so yeah you can see here the first element third element fifth element seventh element ninth element should be equal right uh, you can derive this simple simple maths right <laughs> we just uh, perform some cancellation and we can derive this so that's it so there was one observation we earlier made uh, if all the elements are same Air elements are the same then uh, anyway yes uh, because if air elements are same anyway this uh, this will hold because all the elements are same but uh, if air elements are not same what we found out is what we found out is we can just uh, we can have at most two unique elements right we can have at most two unique elements so this is like uh, case one maybe when n is odd n is odd and this is like uh, case two case two n is even Right, so by the simple observation, by simple cancellation, we found out that since a1, a3, a5 should be equal, this is one unique element, uh, one unique element. This is this is one unique element, and this is one unique element. All right. So firstly, if all elements are equal, yeah, yes, we can uh, we, we can make the array good. Basically, the array is good itself. <laughs> if all elements are equal, anyway, the array is, array is good. This property is followed. If not, we can not have more than two unique elements, right? So this is one element, a1, a3, a5, a7. It should be one element, and then. Uh, all the elements like basically all the elements uh, at the same all the elements the, at the position like at the order places should be equal and all the elements at the even places should be equal if the array has to be considered to be good right fine so one more observation uh, we cannot have more than two unique elements now these two unique elements can be easily tracked like so basically these are the constraints or original array right so this a is our original array and we want to find out whether it is good or not now, if it has to be good uh, first option is either all elements should be equal or even a even a3 a5 should be equal a2 a4 a6 should be equal right so what does this say is we cannot have more than two unique elements these can be easily keep track using a map map or maybe a hash map hash map or maybe a hash set also we cannot have more than two elements and 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 there's also constraint on how many times they should be present right for example if let's say n is even you cannot have more than two elements right you cannot have more than two elements so basically your uh, number of unique elements number of unique elements here are two right here cannot have you have to be it has to be le like less than equals to two and uh, Again, the frequency, the frequency of both should be like equals to six by two, right? Here, three. The frequency of both elements should be equal to n by two, right? So, frequency of both elements should be equal to n by two. They, they both should be same. Right? So, there is a bound on frequency as well. There is a bound on frequency, right? Bound on frequency as well. If n is odd, then here you can say n equals to five. Uh, one element uh, should have a frequency like let's say f n. So, f n should be two, right? A two equals to a four. That guy, that guy. And uh, one element should have a frequency of three. A one, a three, a five, right? A one, a three, a five. So. So basically, I am saying if uh, if firstly there has there cannot be more than two unique elements, and if there are two unique elements, first guy's frequency should be uh, first guy's frequency should be two because you can place it in position a two and a four, right? Because it is given, right? You can permute the array in any way you want. So you cannot have two elements, but if you cannot have more than two elements, and if you have two if you have more than two elements, the frequency cannot exceed. Like first guy's frequency should be two, and another guy's frequency should be three. Now can you how can you represent this? Now just think in terms of five. So this is five by two, right? And how does you represent three? Uh, some might say five by two is a seal. But can I represent it uh, in a maybe floor only because I'm, I want to keep things simple. Maybe I can just make five plus one by two, right? So, yeah. So if n is odd, uh, if n is odd, then frequencies has to be either n by two or n plus one by two, right? So the frequencies have to be n by two 
and n plus n by two. So both are basically floor only, right? So uh, can you write the pseudocode now? Can you write the pseudocode? Let me just uh, write the pseudocode here. So firstly, uh, you just create a hash map. Okay. So for starters, just create a hash map. Basically, I uh, found out uh, the frequency of every element. So if uh, map size is uh, greater than two, anyway you are gonna print. So let's just uh, make it more concrete. Uh, what cases are there? Map dot size is equal equals to one. If map size equals equal equals to one, then we have only one unique element. So anyway, the array is uh, array is good. Like array can be made good, and because array is good, <laughs> fine. Else if uh, mp dot size uh, equal equals to two. If the array size is uh, if the unique elements basically unique elements are two, the frequency should match, right? So we have to match the frequencies. F and F two should match. So basically, we have to handle the case for odd and even. We'll come back to that. F and F two uh, should match, right? If they match, then uh, yes. Else no. No, we should match the constraint basically that you had in fact. Else, if map size is greater than three, we can just print two. So now let's come back to this part. Uh, if map size is two, yeah, you can uh, take out all the frequencies and where check if uh, n is even, then is it n equal to n by two or not. Uh, but let's just try to make some observation here. If n is odd, I'm saying the frequencies has to be n by two and n plus one by two, right? N by two and n plus one by two. And uh, if n is even, I'm saying the frequency has to be n by two. Can I maybe uh, combine the formula? So here I am saying the frequencies. I'm saying here f1 has to be also n by 2 and f2 also has to be n by 2, right? In even case, I'm saying that the, if both the elements, uh, now I'm considering the case of an mp dot size is 2. We have two unique elements. Both the frequencies should be n by 2. Here for odd case, one frequency is n by 2 and one frequency n plus 1 by 2. So can these two be made equal? That's what I'm thinking basically because I don't want to separately check for odd and even. So by simple observation, you can find, find found out that uh, this will hold true for even case also. Why? Uh, because when you have, a, let's say, when you have six elements, uh, six by two is three. Six plus one by two is a floor. Is also three. Right? Seven by two is also three. Similarly, uh, if you have let's say seven elements, uh, what do you want? The frequency should be three plus four. So seven, uh, seven by two, seven by two is three. And seven plus one, eight by two. Uh, seven plus one, eight by two, is four. So basically, you can just check if f and f two is a. Uh, I just want to check. Uh, you can just check if basically f and f two is equals to n by two and n plus one by two. Then uh, yes. Otherwise, no. Else, no. So this observation, like I don't remember all this stuff, but you can just see that uh, if two unique elements elements are present, in case of odd, the frequencies had to be n by two and n plus one by two, uh, both are floors. And in case of even, both frequencies had to be n by two n by two. But by just some observation, I found out that n by two can be written as n plus one by two. So I generalize the case that okay, if uh, unique elements are two, we can conclude that frequencies has to be modern frequency. What is the frequency? N by two, n plus one by two. Right. So frequency has to be n by two, n by two. Okay. Maybe I <laughs> discussed a bit more than I wanted, but. I hope uh, the question is clear. Now let's just com complete the question. So the test case input is there. Then array. Let's take the input of array size. Then let me declare the array. Now let's take the array input. Uh, I plus plus C in array of I. Fine. So now you need to create a map here. Uh, C plus plus has an ordered map. You can use a map. I usually like people prefer a map if you have many elements. But this is a very small question. The constraints are also pretty low. I guess the array size was not exceeding hundred. So you can take. So yeah. So Basically, on order map will try to give you on an average constant time insertion and deletion. Okay, so let's just um, just update the frequencies. Let us on. So we are going through every element and then update its frequencies. Okay, but we need to do we need to do a couple of things. Uh, for example, maybe let's just not uh, find out the map like this. Let's go through the entire elements, entire array elements. I plus plus. Okay, so what I can do is uh, maybe I can uh, what I can do is maybe I can uh, maintain a uh, can maintain a boolean. Which says uh, like uh, right now yes is true, and if uh, I'll just first increment area of i its frequency, we'll first increment area frequency. So basically, this boolean is maintained because whenever I found out a condition which violates the yes, basically if map size is greater than three or maybe the frequencies are not matching, I can make this uh, yes to be false. So this is and at the last I just have to do one thing: if yes, then print yes, followed by new line. Else see out no. So I'm starting out by assuming that array is good, and I'll look for conditions like if map has uh, map is greater than if map size is exceeded or if map size is equal to two, but the frequencies are not matching, and I'll make a yes false in the bit middle, right? So first things first, if any time map size has exceeded two, so we cannot have more than two unique elements. So yes will be false, and we can break. Okay, we cannot have more than two elements, so yes will be false, and we'll break. So this is I'm just going to the array first increment the frequency, and uh, if we have more than two unique elements, then we can just simply break out of the loop. Now, when would you break out of the loop? Uh, when, like, when this loop ends, what are the possibilities? If maps map size, so basically there are three possibilities. If map dot size is equal equals to one, else if, else if map dot size is equal equals to two, else the map map dot size is uh, basically greater than two. Now, 
we don't need to handle equals to one case. Yes, need not be changed here. So like we don't have to do anything here, do nothing. Again, uh, if it is greater than equal, if it is greater than two, then anyway, yes, is uh, false. We don't need to do anything. But if it is equals to two, we need to check something, right? So we need to check whether our frequencies are equal to n by two and n plus one by two. So I'll just check. Uh, what I can do is I can just take out the first frequency. So I can just take out the frequency of the first element. I can begin MP uh, basically return the first key value pair, and begin MP dot second will return the frequency of the first element. Frequency of the first element. Okay. Now if f one is not equals to n by two, and and f one is not equals to n plus one by two. Right, because it has to be equal to any one of these, uh, and I'll, then I'll make yes equals to false. Make sense? Um, Fn has to Fn F2 has to be equal to n by 2 n plus 1 by 2. But like we don't know, right? If the first uh, first guy he is like the order is not guaranteed in on ordered map, right? So the first guy might have a frequency of n plus 1 by 2. So what I'm checking is the frequency is not equal to n by 2 and n plus 1 by 2. Then simply make yes false. Now since we are not doing anything in these two cases, we can just simply remove them. We can just have one if no need for this, right? So I hope I was clear. I tried to explain it in very detail because I was assuming that beginners are watching this video. Uh, so this might be a little bit longer video, but fine. So right, uh, simple. Uh, this was the input. Uh, find out the frequency map. Maintain a Boolean variable. Initially, assume the array is good, and then upon uh, like if the conditions are occurred, for example, if MP dot size like if unique elements are exceeding, unique elements are becoming more than two, make yes false. If uh, uh, unique if MP dot size is equal to two and the frequencies are not matching, then make yes false. Let me just test it. Yes, yes, no, no, yes, fine. So let's just submit it and see whether it works. It should work. <laughs> Compilation error. Okay, that's a problem. Okay, I actually misspelled on ordered map. <laughs> okay, sorry for that. Uh, okay. Now, okay, I didn't saw there was a compilation error. Fine, now it works. So there was a, I, I misspelled on ordered map. Uh, happens. Yeah, fine, it works. Well, then, uh, thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one.